What's up guys, it's Fatter and coming to you with another gameplay on freaking Bakara. I swear to god, it's the only map I can ever upload anything on. I don't know why, it's one of my favorite maps. And yeah, so we're just gonna go at it. Uh, obviously using everyone's favorite Type 95 with the red dot and the silencer. I think I was just like killstreak whoring a couple days, I don't know. I just, sometimes I just feel like, you know what, I'm not gonna play super objectively. I just wanna go out and bust some freaking ass. So... First off, in this commentary, I'm going to apologize. My girlfriend should be calling me pretty soon, so I may have to cut in and out. But um, it shouldn't affect the commentary too much. I'm not being super professional, but maybe I'll just secretly record the conversation. No, because I'll, I'll end up talking like an idiot. I can't do that. Anyways, this gameplay is going to be focused on doing stuff that you like. And as of late, doing these commentaries has been awesome for me. I've done like five just as of yesterday and today. And it's it's like an outlet for me to um, just express myself, I guess, as much as I'm not really expressing myself as much as I'm expressing my rage over Call of Duty, for the most part. Um, I've seen a lot of YouTubers have been posting up, uh, or at least the bigger people who are on Machinima, they've been posting up their um, uh, videos about like making money on YouTube and whatnot. And I thought about it, and you know, it'd be awesome to make some money on YouTube. You know what? Why not? Have some on side, but. I really like doing this for having fun um, and the communication I can have with other people and to be able to like play video games and like learn about like, I don't know, music and I don't know why I'm learning about music, but learning about YouTube backgrounds or just making images, I guess, in Photoshop and video editing, the small amount that I do. And it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm like a guy who likes to um, play around with new toys and solve problems. Um, if any of you have Apple computers. Um, the newest operating system called Mountain Lion was just released this week, actually, as a developer preview, but I downloaded it, and now I'm using it, which is pretty freaking awesome because not a lot of people have it, and it's just, it's fun for me to get new stuff to play around with. I love playing with new things. That's kind of what she said. Uh, it's kind of what a horror would say, but... Um, and for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, it's like you have Windows XP. You probably have Windows 7 on your computer. Mountain Lion's like the newest version of Windows 7 for Mac, if you want to compare it that way, if you don't know what I'm talking about. So, um, I just got to thinking about, you know what, it'd be cool to make money and stuff, but it's really all about doing what you like to do and having fun with it. And you should be looking for that everywhere in life, whether it's your job or whether it's like a sport you play or something. Think about how much time you spend in something and how much actual enjoyment you get out of it. I know there's been times when I've played Call of Duty where I just, like, last night, I just raged out for, like, I don't even know how long, like, half the night. I was trying to get Moabs. I was trying to do some other things. I wasn't getting good games. I was just, yesterday was just a terrible day in Call of Duty, and I should have called it quits much earlier in the night. But I decided, you know what, I am going to sit here and do this all day. And sorry for actually showing the Reaper footage, but I thought this might be kind of a longer commentary, so I just keep it in there um <clears throat> so you know doing what you like and having fun with it is really like an important part and as much as you may think it's not it really is um i've been doing my job currently for a while now like a year and a half this current job and i do like some parts of it and some parts of it i don't but there's enough of it that i really do like and i do enjoy which is usually the interactions between students and um helping entertain other people through i guess informative ways we do staff training, and I help do staff training through like funny little stories or I don't know videos and whatnot. And it makes me feel good that you know I'm having fun, I'm entertaining people, and um, people are taking something from it. So um, always be sure to think about what sort what you're doing, I guess, in life, and what um, look at that ninja diffuse. That just did you see that? That said ninja diffuse on the screen. If you didn't see it, go back and see it. It said Ninja Diffuse. I don't know why I'm in the middle of Dom's. I think it's because I'm playing it in theater mode, but yeah, there's a. I've somehow got a Ninja Diffuse in the middle of Domination. But back to the topic. You need to have fun in what you do because if you don't, you're going to hate it, and believe me, that happens real fast. You get burnt out because you're spending so much energy trying to stay positive or just trying not to hate what you're doing that eventually it's just going to get to you, you're either going to become desensitized to it and really not care, or you're just going to waste a lot of energy, become tired, worn out, and you're going to need to recover from it. You can't just like one day all of a sudden be like, oh, I love my job. You're going to have to do something to improve upon that. So um, 
I feel like this YouTube thing is awesome for me because I'm trying to incorporate some of the things that I do here in what I do at work. I now get to like learn some things about websites and I've been making videos for a couple things. I'll be making more videos for training sessions and stuff. And it just it's an all around really cool thing to do when you can take something as a job and do it as something that you like. And uh, even when you're doing schoolwork, think about the schoolwork that you're doing and think about what you can take out of it. I know most of you are probably in middle school, high school, some people are in college, and it's just something that um, I wish I knew about a long time ago. I guess I sort of knew it when I used to do math homework because I like doing math. A uh, funny little story about me is back in the day um, when I was in kindergarten, so 1993 or something, I don't know, a long time ago, I actually came home one day after we, like, we went over math in school and like this is how you know like I was a small child and didn't really I guess understand the concept of school or homework or something and I came home and had this little like notepad and I think we had done like introductory math or like subtraction that day and I sat down and did math problems by myself unless this is a story that's been told to me before which I'm pretty sure I remember this quite vividly I used to sit down and do math problems by myself because I loved trying to figure it out and trying to figure out like you know what plus what equals what and it was so cool for me, for like a little five-year-old kid, to think I was learning such cool things. And I feel like I still do that today with um, trying to figure out how to install things, playing around with new toys, I guess, as like new software. I always try to get the stuff early before it comes out. Um, I like problem solving, uh, trying to figure out why something doesn't work, figure out how I can get it to work. Um, it's just it's what I like to do, so I try to incorporate that into what I do in work and in school. So I try to make these videos, I try to make funnier videos, because um, humor is not just the thing that everyone has or understands, so it's something I try to understand. Um, I try to figure out new uh, computer skills to help other people out, which I do often. I was in a class with like four old women the other day, and they were trying to figure out how to save a PDF to the desktop when um, you click in and open up to a new page. So I was like, oh, just right click on it, click save target as, or save link as, and save it to your desktop, and you can double click it from there. And they were like, oh, how did you know that? And I was like, oh, it's just something I've kind of just learned, you know, over the years of using computers. And even though that's a very introductory thing that probably a lot of people know, a lot of people that I work with don't know that. So finding things like that I can learn on the computer and use in the everyday life um, is really cool for me. So uh, in the comment section, I'd like to know what you guys do for fun and how you incorporate things that are fun into your work. So do you do math problems when you're bored? Um, do you like to learn how to use computer things and use them in your classes? Like say you're doing a, a presentation, you learn about something new in PowerPoint or a new presentation tool and you use it. Or, I don't know, do you use presentations through making videos or some anything? What do you like to do and how do you incorporate it in your life? Like I said, I've used video editing, I've used, oh, I don't even know, I'm comedy, and even though you, I, I don't know if that counts really as much because comedy is not something you just like figure out it definitely takes a lot of experience and watching people and finding out what's actually funny and what's not funny and what's popular and what's not popular what's what's really offensive and what's kind of offensive yet funny um and it just all kind of comes together but think about that stuff think about how you can implement it later in life because believe me as much as um you may want to make money someday as much as they say money doesn't buy happiness, that's kind of a contradictory statement. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, if you're making like $600,000 a year and you really hate your life every day, um, $600,000 may not be able to buy you um, tons of things to do. Uh, uh, like you could probably buy your own jet. You could buy a whole bunch of stuff, but it may not make you actually happy. It may just keep you at that baseline level. But if you're not making that much and you're happy with what you're doing, um, believe me, it makes all the difference. It really does. I love technology. I love my little toys. So I'm, I think I'm fairly happy. I have my toys to play with. I have my video games to play with. I have you guys to stream with. You guys to comment on my videos with. It's crazy awesome. I love it. I have tons of fun doing it. So I'm glad I found something that was this cool and helps me learn and uh, given me something I could use in my job. So just a little tip of advice from someone who's 23 and doesn't have a lot of work experience, but. I feel like it goes for a lot of people because you always hear people talking about how they hate their jobs and it makes you really think once you have a job, you know, is this something I really want to do? How does this actually affect me as a person um, and things like that. So just think about it and uh, watch this Reaper. Pew, pew, pew. I feel like this, wow, this commentary got a lot longer than I thought it was, but 
Someone said in the comments that they like 10 minute videos, and this is going longer than 10 minutes, so maybe if you didn't want 10 minute videos, you should have commented and been like, Fat Earn, we don't want 10 minute videos. Stop being a dick. Give us what we want. But I feel like this is my channel. I do what I want. But within the context of what you guys want, I don't know. This is a little drawn out, but whatevs. And hey, my girlfriend didn't call. Look at that. This is, this is quite the day. And look at us. We're going to win this game because we're capping flags and killing noobs in the butt. And my teammate will not get up. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Switching guns like a boss. And we're going to win. Oh, man. I'm trying so hard. Well, I don't know what happened. I think I'm just, like, trying to fill time here at the end. So, but uh, be on the lookout for more uh, videos coming up soon. I want to do a QA and a video. So, also in the freaking comment section, leave me some questions. Not crazy questions. Leave me some questions that you think I can actually answer. Something you actually may want to know about me. Not super personal things. Um, some funny things. Uh, some stories about me growing up. I don't know. Something that you want to know about me. Acts about me, son. Acts about me in the comments. And I will do my best to answer them in a future Q&A video. Anyways, the final score is like 59-2, and two, I think, in this game. Crazy score. Pretty sure I should have gotten a Moab at some point, but that's what you get when you suck. So, anyways, it's Fat Earn. I appreciate it, guys. Leave a like, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace!